All right, man. So today we're going to be talking about the balance changes that just got released yesterday. So we're going to start off with Ben and Kiang's enhanced jump. It was buffed from 30 jump to 70 jump. And you also get 5% extra success rate to your layups and dunks. So if you were using uh, jump gear or jump assist characters on your Kiang or your Ben, um, basically no point in doing that anymore <laughs> because they're doing more than making up for that by giving you an additional 40 jump. And I'm pretty sure that's a lot more than you could get from gear and assist characters added up together. And I do believe there's a maximum jump distance because um, when I had Zachary, I had my enhanced dunk that was giving me extra jump range. And then I had the meteor dunk giving me extra jump range as well. And then when I put even more jump on top of those, it just didn't seem like the meteor dunk was going back any further. So make sure y'all keep that in mind. You don't want to put too much jump on your characters, especially Ben and Kiang now. So what you want to do is with these characters, you want to make sure you put more mid range on there for your Kiang because he is a really good mid range shooter. Believe it or not, he's a very strong mid range shooter. He doesn't have an enhanced mid shot he doesn't have that much disturbance resistance inside the mid-range area but his rapid dribble move does give him three percent disturbance resistance and three percent extra accuracy on his next shot when he does it in three seconds so make sure y'all keep that in mind kiang players no longer have to put jump on your kiang take that off go into either power mid shot speed or three point or even just the combination of those stats whatever you plan to do just know you don't need jump on him anymore and in terms of ben i would probably go into power and or mid shot he doesn't need speed he's not really an own ball a small forward like kiang is because you know kiang has the rapid dribble move helps him get to the rim a whole lot faster than most of the other characters inside this game so you want to be using power you want to be using mid shot on your ben now if you had jump on him before go ahead and take it off you no longer need it so let's go ahead and move on to big mike and sarah their hook shot was buffed the level three changed from two percent extra accuracy to three percent extra accuracy and three percent disturbance resistance so that's gonna stack with what they're getting at their level four as well so make sure y'all keep that in mind big mike and sarah players your hook shot just got buffed you're going to be a little bit more consistent with those now. So moving on to Black Crow, his spin jump shot was buffed and it increased the shooting speed and shot height of that ability. So I, I realized that this ability was shooting kind of slow. It's shooting at the, like the similar speed of something like a sidestep shot. And this ability was designed to be used like a drift shot. And with it firing off so slow, with it firing off so low, uh, it was hard to justify using this unless you were completely wide open or your defender got screened off. But now that he's going to be firing this off faster and he's going to be firing this off a little bit higher and then you pair that with the less disturbance range that he has in front of him it's going to be a really good ability overall it already was good but now it's even better so moving on to the new level fours katayusha got a level four smart layup and at level four it increases the success rate of the layup by 15 percent so it's the same thing as julian simply just 15 percent extra accuracy on your smart layup and it will certainly help i don't know if this is going to bring her back into the meta because these duncan based characters with toss-up dunks and smart dunks dunks and freaking pulse board dunks and all these other kinds of dunks just uh very difficult to justify using katayusha because even with a decent power stat she cannot get as high as these other characters with higher power stats so next level four is boa pinpoint pass is level four now and it does the same thing as all the others just simply gives 15 percent extra accuracy and yes it will certainly help on those long range passes so all right man these are the balance changes for this update uh the ben and kiang change probably the biggest one out of all of them because an additional 40 jump because uh back then at level one you would get 10 jump at level one on your enhanced jump but now at level one you get 50 insane man you also get this five percent extra accuracy your layups and dunks at level one as well uh the the 20 extra jump comes from level two and level three uh the big mike and sarah change i'm not sure how big of a difference that will make it's just three percent extra accuracy and three percent disturbance resistance so that's one extra accuracy and three more disturbance resistance once again not sure how much that will help but big mike does have extra accuracy and extra disturbance resistance at level four as well so we'll see how this plays out for him and black crow really liking that buff he really needed it he was firing that shot off too slow and it was way too easy for shorter characters to block and katayusha level four smart layup it's okay i guess i mean i would have probably rather her had a level four tricky post up uh, but i don't really understand why they decided to go for the smart lay probably because it was the key ability inside of her kit at some point in time so boa's level four pinpoint i feel like they could have went for a level four fadeaway mid shot similar to jackie's that boosts her accuracy according to distance from the basket but we get a level four pinpoint pass not gonna complain i enjoy passing the ball so all right man i'm gonna wrap this video up y'all want to see more of this go ahead and drop a like sub to the channel and i'll catch y'all next one man